from a broker, whether they go up or down, who gets a commission for each trade you make? Who really makes the money? The brokers, exactly. As I said, you can either be uh, part of the group of people, 9% of the people out there who who buy who buy the tickets to the game, or you be part of the 10%, the elite, who sell the tickets to the game. But I'm talking about building your own assets, building your own business system that you can then sell sh shares to, to the public. Network marketing, I am so sorry to the net for the network marketers out there. Statistically, less than 2% of network marketers reach an income of $300 a month or more. Only 2%. Now, I'm not saying there's zero point something percent of people who make a heck of a lot of money from online from network marketing, and the odds are not stacked in your favor. It's as simple as that. Seventy-five percent of Amway distributors quit in their first year. Twenty-five percent of the remaining quit each year after that. After four years, only ten percent of new recruits recruits are still active. Now, those kinds of people, I can tell you, if they were to apply that kind of tenacity to online marketing or just building their own business. Uh, they would be so much more successful. It, it would be, it would, it's a joke. Uh, again, when you sell a network marketing company's product, you're selling somebody else's product. Who's making the money? They are. It's their product. Direct mail. That's great. It can work. But it co think about this. In order to do a direct mail campaign, it costs you a minimum 5,000 to 10,000 pounds. And a lot of them fail. A lot of them don't, don't break even. Uh, if, if people don't respond to your offer, you've lost every penny of that investment. With the internet, you can reach millions of people for practically free. Compare that to, to direct mail or the other options. Email. How insanely economical is email? How about buying a franchise? Again, when you buy a franchise, who makes the money? The franchise owners. Absolutely. The ones who have the product. Okay. Whose products are you selling? Whose equity are you building? You're going to spend your time working anyway. You might as well spend your time building your own asset base, your own equity. Does that make sense? Okay. I, I know there's a lot of people here who have property and stocks and into network marketing and thinking, I don't like this seminar already. <laughs> How about starting your own business? Okay, the good news is that 9 out of 10 businesses will fail in the first year. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's completely false. Uh, Eric was saying how uh, a good majority of them won't last, uh, won't last uh, one year. Uh, but according to this Dunn and Bradstreet data, Phillips and Kirchhoff, Kirchhoff, uh, found that 76% of new firms were open after two years. That's that's a pretty amazing statistic. 76% of new firms were open after two years, 47% after four years, and 38% after six years. The bad news, typical small business has to deal with inventory, overheads, taxes, staff problems, personnel problems, working all hours of the day, etc. And the opportunity for the systems and the leverage is just not as prevalent as it is for the online marketeer, online entrepreneur. So what's the solution? And this is now my preferred, my preferred system, um, creating an e-book. Now, does everybody out here, does everybody here know what an e-book is? Has, has everybody seen an e-book, understand the concept of an e-book? Yeah? What an e-book is basically is just like a Word document. Who here has typed a Word document in their life? Okay, everybody, if you can work, if you can write a Word document, you can create an e-book. Uh, you just PDF that document, you create it in an Adobe PDF format, and that's an e-book. That's, uh, that's all an e-book is. It's just a document that people can click and download. Uh, and um, yeah, people are hungry for information. The internet is not organized. If you can organize the information with people, you will be adding value to them. Now, here's the process of creating an e-book. So, step by step. One, you research. You find a large, easy, targetable market. Two, you create the ebook or info product that answers their question or solves their problem. That's on page 186, by the way. Three, you write your sales message, your sales copy, your, your uh, sales letter. Four, you set up your website and make sure that you automate everything in that system. Five, you register with ClickBank, clickbank.com. You register with them, it's $49. They will give you your sales link, they will give you your affiliate link, uh, they will talk you through the process. It's very straight, well, so is it straightforward? It is simple, but it takes a little bit of fiddling around to figure it out. Uh, and again, I, the best thing I can recommend is for you to actually go through the process. Just go into clickbank.com and click on the links and figure out how it works. Uh, that's how I did it, that's, why, that's how, uh, that's how uh, every other online marketer does it. Uh, just